Kwaiti and I'm here at Android Kitchen uh, to review the Windrider S5C, which is this beauty right here. This 132 watt machine goes up to 25 kilometers per hour. So on here you've got the on off button, which blows up. But on the other side, you've got your charging port. It just takes a normal three port charger that allows you uh, in about half an hour to charge this up from flat to full. And that'll take you up around six to eight miles uh, of riding joy. This thing is much harder to balance on than a two-wheeled version, so you might have seen my Airwheel Q3 review video. This is a lot harder to ride than that, in a sense. Um, there's a steep learning curve, uh, but this thing does go really quick. The step on is very much the same as a two-wheeled version. Basically, you just put one foot on, and then you step on with the other side. With a one-wheel machine, you pretty much need to get moving pretty quick, otherwise you will fall off. So if I just hold on to this a little bit, you can see I can hold on and, and balance upright, and I can rock forward and backwards a little bit, but it is very difficult to just stand still on the spot without falling over a little bit. You'll find that when you go on a road, it feels like you're not going that quick until you lean right forward and you accelerate. And when you go round a bend, you can feel the speed kind of decreasing off, off your wheel, but you have to just push hard off the corner and back out into the straight. Now when you travel uh, really quick, it can feel really fast, especially when you're on the pavement. And when you're on the pavement, when you see things like trees and fences to your left and right, it can feel really, really scary. But that's where you need to pad up and get safe when you do go riding. When you are close to other people, you have to learn how to maneuver really slowly. And going slow is a lot more difficult than going fast. Going fast, the only danger you really got is hurting yourself by falling off. But actually, it's pretty hard to fall off these things once you're moving quick. But when you're going slow, you just need to kind of watch out for people. And once you've got your core balance really nice and tight, it's actually okay. One great thing about this is that it really works the core. So if you're looking to trim down a little bit, uh, anyone who's watched one of my old videos can see I used to be a lot more porky. Well, this machine really helps cut down the flab. This machine itself is sold by Asia E-Bike, and they sell this unit currently uh, under $400, under 400 US dollars, and then you pay shipping on top of that and customs charge uh, if you're not in Malaysia. It's quick enough for me, and it's very light. It weighs 9.8 kilos. Uh, this is easily enough for me to comfortably walk on and off a train, walk down the platform and outside. So this machine, I give it a 9 out of 10. It's almost totally perfect. If the battery life lasted a bit longer, it would get a 10 out of 10 for me. But hopefully in the future, they'll sort that out. This is the Windrider S5C. I'm Kwai Chi. Until next time, take care.